All right, so no introduction today, but still follow me on BitChute, Radio, and Odyssey, and all these other social media platforms like um, Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, mine's just in case we're trying to get shut down, terminate it, shadow ban, like, um, delete it, D- God forbid, DDoS, what have you. Anyways, yeah, still follow me there. I know this was blown up about two days ago. Didn't have a little t- too much time to talk about it because I had overtime work like a mother after last freaking week because Memorial Day weekend and shit. I still do, but... Ugly, I got today off, but Monday I'm going to be busting my a-hole out big time, so I don't know if I'm going to have a video off Monday or not, so there's that. But, um, <laughs> Lord, I, I'm so freaking happy. I am not freaking a part of this hardcore, like, I was never a hardcore fanboy. If I need the Lord of the Rings Hobbit freaking, um, Peter Jackson, J.T. Tolkien, or J. Tolkien, I think it was J.G. or J.T. Tolkien's, um, franchise for Lord of the Rings, because if I was... Oh, not gonna lie, I probably would have exploded like a freaking volcano. I would have been living in the Super Saiyan Times 3, like, would have just been exploding in anger and rage right now, frustration, like a mother effort. If this is what they did to my baby Gollum or Smingle, but this thing's been getting roasted on the internet for the past two days, and you know what? I was like, screw it. I wasn't gonna talk about it originally, because I want to talk about other stuff. Um, a little bit more extra important stuff that's going on in the world, like AI and. So especially that Microsoft and Apple's doing, and I really wanted to talk about that news. Besides, you know, the Xbox stuff that's going to be coming for Microsoft, I'm talking about more like, you know, the scary AI, like digital machine shit that's going to be coming here a lot more sooner than I thought, but I said I'll talk about this one instead. That way um, my channel doesn't get completely taken off, but or the algorithm thinks, oh, fear-mongering, trying to spread real truth and not lies and animosity, but whatever. This one's more safer. And I got a little Nintendo news, too. Oof. Typical Nintendo, um, filing lawsuits and sending people to court, but it's time to try to do it to freaking the one that created Steam and, um, what's it called? This is Valve and Steam. Gabe Newell. So, um, that was pretty fucking important, in my opinion, because, I mean, if it wasn't for that dude, like, stuff like Portal, um, the Left 4 Dead series, Team Fortress 2 and all that, those franchises would never exist without that dude's help. Anyways, um, Besides from that, playing some hop music in the background, hopefully I'll get a copyright claim for that, but whatever. So, this comes from Stephen Talaby. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Talaby or Stephen, Stephen Talaby or Stephen Talaby. Lord of the Rings Goblin's dismal reception prompts apology from Day, Day Dalek. Developer pledges to improve his experience. So, let's jump into it. And, uh, yeah, let's begin. So, it says, um, <clears throat> you know you're in for a tight spot when you have have to break out in a, in a Twitter statement. Developer Day Dalek Entertainment has issued a former apology to those who have been playing Lord of the Rings Gollum, a game that has been extremely poorly received. In fact, it is considered to be the worst game on the PlayStation 5. With this unfortunate news, the studio is also, it seems that the team is holding its collective hands up in a statement with Twitter social media. That's what the whole thing says here. This quote, I don't know, it was a pre- probably a PR lawyer that did this, or nowadays it might be a chat GPT AI robot that's writing these apology statements. <laughs> they might not even need the human lawyers and attorneys anymore. And again, they lie about a lot of stuff. That's what they're paid to do, but it is what it is. So it says, quote, We'd like to sincerely apologize for the underwhelming experience that many of you have had with Lord of the Rings Gollum upon its release. It reads, We acknowledge and are deeply regret that the game did not meet the expectations we set ourselves for our dedicated community. Yeah, our dedicated... For our dedicated community. Please accept our sincerest apologies for any disappointment this may have caused. And that's it there. Sounds very, very soulless, very corporate in my personal opinion. It's very, very much just a fucking cash grab and trying to get a lot of brownie points and shit, trying to be very virtue signally. Let's move on. Statement goes on to thank the players for their feedback since their release. It says that the team has, quote, have been actively listening to their voices, reading comments, and analyzing to construct criticism. Doubt it. They probably threw it all in the fucking digital trash, but let's continue. Day Dalek is working on to address the game's bugs and other technical problems, and we'll be releasing these fixes in upcoming patches. It finishes up by saying it'll keep players updated and provide updates on all the changes. We can't gloss over it. This game is in rough shape, but we hope Daedalic, or Daedalic, however you say it, Dalek, 
can eliminate most of these egregious issues and get the Lord of the Rings Gollum into a better state. Have you ever been playing this game? What are your thoughts on it so far? Tell us in the comments below. Yeah, thoughts, views, and opinions. <laughs> I, I looked at a little bit of gameplay of this. <sighs> this is tremendous, tremendously, tumultuously one of the worst, like, absolutely garbage-ass freaking things I've seen in a super long time. And then this year, 2023, man. I think ever since 2020, when um, December 2020, when Cyberpunk 2077 came out, all the way up to now in 2023, just games is just, especially the ones for, not even just for PC anymore, but for console games, like, console system games. They're just, all these first party AAA developers, they're just throwing them out there completely halfway unfinished or broken. They don't even give a shit about none of the fans at all, period, now, which sucks. And it's not always the developer's fault either. Or the artist people's fault or any of the freaking random graphics people or nature, like the ones that create all the environments and all that shit. It's not even always their fault, it's not me either. It's a lot of the people are at the top. A lot of these, not even just CEOs. It's, it's a lot of these people that are like in a third party, like, not even, it's more for the financial investors and all the people at Wall Street that they got to freaking please their ass. Pretty much they kiss their ass and they're sucking on their asses and sucking on their cocks the whole time. They're dicks. To please them every single freaking waking moment of their life, they have to keep freaking stroking their freaking dicks and their egos the whole time just... And that's why most of these games are just coming out either unfinished, broken, or just completely fucked up. They're screwed up badly and just, they're barely unplayable. They're completely broken. Or, like, the bug exploits are horrendous. Extremely bad. I mean, especially this year. The, we've, uh, we've seen four games already have been completely broken already. Halfway broken. The Star Wars one for the EA Jedi, Jedi Fallen Order, Jedi Force. That one was kind of a little bit broken, but more playable compared to the other two. And from what I heard, <laughs> it's even worse. And um, the other one for last month or the month before, Last of Us 1 and 2, like the freaking reboot, that ended up being broken. And uh, what else was completely broken before this? <laughs> oh, man. What else is broken up there? Oh, the Redfall was completely broken. And now this one, Lord of the Rings Gala. <laughs> it, it just keeps getting worse and worse. I don't even know what to tell them anymore. So, well, let's go on to the next um, article here. So, this article here, some Nintendo news, unfortunately, but not in a good way, and unfortunately, negative, bad, um, depressing, fucked up way. I gotta look at it, sadly. Um, through negative, um, what's it called? Um, Debbie Downer eyes. <laughs> this is, um, Dolphin Emulator Steam releases, at least delayed indefinitely, following the Nintendo DMCA notice. GameCube and Wii emulators were slated to arrive on Steam Deck later this year. So um, this comes from Igor Bonifaxix or Bonifaxix. I don't know. I ever say his last name. So I'm only going to read half this article. I'm not going to read the whole entire thing because I want to read the other one for PC Gamer. And hopefully I get enough time to talk about these two VTubers you guys check out. This <laughs> they're cute, beautiful, adorable, sexy, and they're funny as hell. And let's move on. It says on um, the designs. So it says Valve has delisted Dolphin from Steam after receiving a DMCA act takedown from Nintendo. In the late March, developers of Dolphin, an open source of the emulator, can run most of the GameCube games and Wii titles, said that they were planning to bring the free app to Valve's storefront later this year. In a May 26 legal notice from two days ago, those are both two days ago, so super recent stuff. Legal notice has been seen by PC Game. Nintendo's legal team has asked Valve to remove Dolphin from the Steam, claiming that the emulator violates the company's intellectual property rights. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you, man. Those hitos that work in Japan, man. I still think it's still 1980s, 90s, bro. Still. Got a fucked up mind, so they do whatever the fuck they want. Sadly, they're millions of billionaires that are controlling this. So, yeah, unfortunately, that's sadly to a certain extent, that's true. So it says, quote, because Dolphin Emulator violates Nintendo's intellectual poppers, aka P rights, including not limited to, to the rights on the D DMCA Act, anti circumvention, anti trafficking provisions, blah, 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 blah. We provide that this notice to you to your obligation to remove the offering of the Dolphin Emulator from the Steam Store and Code document says, with the, note, with the notice, the Dolphin team had two options on first how to move forward. You can either file a counter. File a counterclaim, there we go, with Valve arguing that the emulator doesn't violate the DMCA as claimed by Nintendo work and choose to comply with the takedown notices. If the team files a counter 
counter notice lawsuit and they probably are unfortunately yeah um lawsuit Nintendo will have to take two weeks to decide to file a lawsuit it's PK gamers it was unclear that the company actually intends to pursue legal action against Dolphin however if a case were to go to court it will have to have far-reaching implications for the emulators for the time being the Dolphin system said of what is deciding to do next Oh, this is real, real sad to see. Well, let's move on now. <laughs> let's keep reading. It says, quote, This was much disappointment that we had to announce that Dolphin on Steam release has been indefinitely postponed. The Dolphin emulation project said on Friday, We were noticed by Valve that Nintendo has issued and cease and desist on the DMCA against Dolphin Steam page. We have removed Dolphin from the Steam until... The matter is settled. We are currently investigating our options and we will have more in-depth response in the near future. Mm. It says you can still download the Dolphin thing somewhere else on Steam Dev, but that means it's going to be completely not even like <coughs> available anywhere else. Yeah. I'm going to do thoughts, views, and opinions after I'm done with this one, so I'll see you guys in a second. Yeah, so this one's from PC Gamer. Got a credit card as due on here. I'm not sure who it was, but there's somebody that wrote this. <laughs> uh, Wes Felton. So this is, um, Nintendo sends Valve DMCA to Black Nose Steam of the Wii Emulator Dolphin. So I'm just going to read, like, half of it, and I'll probably get to my thoughts, views, and opinions in a separate video. I don't know. Monday. Just in case I don't have no time to read it at all. Development of Team Launch of Steam page was supposed to be on March 28th. Announced the Dolphin blog. We're, we're pleased to finally... Tell the word of our experiment. This has been a product of many months in the work, and we look forward to getting our it out to our users on our hands soon. But unfortunately, I got stopped. So I'm just going to read half of this thing here, and the rest of the links to the description box below. Want to read your own time? And then DMCA notices our latest our service providers. Valve, in this case, we must notify the allegedly infringing party. The Dolphin Development seems team has the option to file a counter notice. We've read that already. Or to comply with the takedown, the team does this for a counterclaim, explained the Copyright Alliance. I didn't hear that part before, Copyright Alliance. Nintendo has about two weeks to decide whether to sue or not. If it doesn't, Dolphin could potentially be re-added to Steam. That's wild. The question is whether or not Nintendo will truly pursue legal action in this case. It definitely fucking won't, I guarantee you. What would happen? A ruling either a direction will have far-reaching applications for emulator, da da Alright, we kind of read most of this already. Previous lawsuits to do with the emulation were filed against Sony against Bleem. Well, I didn't know that. And Kinetics. How do you say that? Kinetics or Kinetics? Both were that found that emulators had not violated copyrights for their use of PlayStation BIOS and firmware. Those lawsuits have long been used as a precedence to uphold the emulation as illegal in the United States. But it's a complex one, too. Complex topic in Nintendo. Nintendo's cases here would likely be argued on different legal grounds. The DMCA later sent <clears throat> to Valve Cities an anti circumvention language of DMCA specifically claims, I quote, the Dolphin emulator operates in incorporating these cryptographic keys without Nintendo's authorization and decrypting of ROMs or immediately before runtime. Thus, the use of Dolphin emulator unlawfully circumvent a technological measure that effectively controls access to a work protected under the Copyright Act. Yeah, so, uh, quick thoughts, views, and opinions on that. <laughs> oh, man. That dude I know, Gabe Newell, he's probably got uh, like billions of trillions of dollars. I was reading uh, some other random article. I know it was new, real or fake. I swear I'm not getting into politics, but he said he has more money than Bill Gates, Donald Trump, and Bill Bezos. You can get Elon Musk. He might be richer than all five of them put together. That's... Super extra mind blowing. I had no idea that dude had that much money. If he's richer than all four of those dudes together, that's insane. Um, so um, they may end up um getting their own super high class ninja, aka you know law lawyer attorneys from Valve and Steam to fight Nintendo in court on this. That would be pretty wild as fuck. <laughs> that's gonna be a pretty crazy ass fight there, man. Because both of these companies have shit tons of money. If Nintendo's just gonna walk away from it, I highly doubt it. Cause it's very super stingy ass bastards, more in money than uh, Valve Steam is in a way. So yeah, that's all I gotta say for now on that. So let's get on to these other two. Yeah, so these are the two brand new YouTubers I heard about um two days ago. Shout out to both of them because they're very very funny ass chicks, man. Sexy beautiful ass designs. This one's called um Juniper Antics, and then the other one over here. 
<laughs> very, very cute-ass waifu chick here. Um, Yaki. They're really, really funny as hell. Peace out, guys.